In this video I will show how to make a gearbox with two gears using Lego bricks. It can be built as shown here. These black gear wheels are especially good for the purpose. If you have enough of the small black gear wheels, you can make a drive shaft like this. Another option is this one. The motor is connected to M1 on a well-charged Wukong motorboard. You turn it on with a little black switch. To turn it off, press the power button twice. Note that both the motor and the drive shaft have the same type of gear wheels. They both have 24 teeth. If you choose the black gear wheels for the drive shaft, the gearbox looks like this. Inside make code you need to download an extension called Wukong. Then we download this little program to the microbit. Now we can change gear as well as start and stop the motor. Now we will examine how many turns the pointer makes in 30 seconds. We therefore will change the program. We start by counting how many turns the motor makes in the wanted 30 seconds. Here it is 42. It depends on how well the motorboard is charged. When the pointer rotates quickly, it can be a little difficult to count. We will therefore change the setup so that it can measure the number of turns by itself. For that purpose we need a so-called Hunt sensor, which I have glued to a Lego brick. It contains a LED that emits infrared light and a sensor that can detect if some of the light is reflected. You adjust it by connecting it to P0 on the motorboard and letting it point out into the room. Then you turn the trimmer so that the little red LED just lights up. The sensor can be mounted on a gearbox in this way. If you turn the pointer, it passes close to the sensor. When this happens, the LED stops illuminating, indicating that some infrared light has been reflected. Now we change the program so that a loop runs for 30 seconds. If the analog value of P0 becomes higher than 300, it is because some light has been reflected and the variable turn is increased by 1. The variable red ensures that the number of turns is only increased once while the pointer is passing. With a low gear we get 6 turns in 30 seconds. In this and the following experiments I have shortened the video. We will now look at how we can calculate the number of turns. Here you see the number of teeth at the active gear wheels. Now we can set up these ratios, which can be abbreviated in this way. 
The motor rotates 42 times in 30 seconds. The drive shaft does the same, as they have equal gear wheels. That is why we get this fraction. Now we try with the high gear. The calculation now looks like this. Now we change gear wheels on the motor and drive shaft and try again to measure turns at low gear. Now the calculation looks like this. Now we change the gear wheels and try the high gear. Again, the calculation fits with our measurements. By using different gears, we could make a speed of between 1 and 280. Finally, we will find out when the pointer can pull the biggest load. We call it torque. To investigate it, we return to the first program where we can start the motor with button A and turn it off with button B. And then we supply the motor and drive shaft with discs and a rubber band. Our setup must now hoist up this brick, which is of a heavy type. It works fine when we drive in low gear. But if we change to the high gear, the rubber band slides around the small disc. The torque of the pointer is not large enough to lift the block. We therefore have to shift to the low gear again, just like when a car has to drive up a steep hill.